one thing that can really make you get frustrated is when you are in another country and uh, uh, you're looking for accommodation and that of how to get the accommodation ready for you to live in, all right? Example is in UK here, most of the houses, the flats, the, 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 the apartments do not come with furniture. So in this case, if you get this rent, you have to furnish it. And getting furniture in the UK is not a joke, all right? So in today's video, I will be talking about some of the places you can actually get furniture for your house, for your apartment, for your flat, for very, very affordable, but very quality and some of the places you can even get it for free okay so if today's topic is something you really like i will say stay tuned and let's dig into it hello everybody you're most welcome back to my channel my name is celine you can call me cj and over here i do speak about the things that happen in happens in scotland um my life in general and also things that happens in the uk so if these are things that are uh, of your interest i'll say do consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give my videos thumbs up if you like them <laughs> okay so in today's video we're talking about the places you can actually find some items for free or for a very very affordable okay now when you get houses or apartments in the uk majority of the houses do not come with furniture so you need to go uh, to places like Ikea, you need to go to places like B&Q and so on to get your brand new furniture. But trust me, these furniture, <laughs> the prices are not jokes, okay? So being a new person in the country, you wouldn't want to waste much money. I wouldn't even advise that to use so much money on furniture. So there are places called the charity, okay? They have items that you can buy at a very minimal prices. The most interesting thing is, you know, these big uh, furniture companies, sometimes when they, when they produce the furniture and it doesn't go, all right? If it doesn't get finished, most of the time they do deliver it to the charity shops and the charity shops will do the selling for them at a very minimal prices so you're if you're fortunate you can get almost new furnitures but very 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 affordable which you can use for years and years and years to come okay so my, like i always say why spend more when you can spend less <laughs> yeah so these shops are there there are from clothing to 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 furnitures to so being new in a, in in the country, I would advise you to go to these charity shops to find out the things you can actually get without paying so much. Okay, unless you have the money to go to places like IKEA, B and Q, uh, and range and so on for to get new items for yourself. And the next places you can actually get things for free. I mean, absolutely for free. Nobody takes anything from you. Sometimes what you have to do is to pay for the transportation. Other than that, you get the item for free free and the place is facebook marketplace facebook marketplace you can actually get things for free all right in the uk majority of the people do not throw things away unlike for some people they don't even use the things for a longer time televisions from televisions like let me say electronics to furnitures to yes but when it comes to facebook marketplace what i normally say is please and please again be vigilant do all your due diligence before you go meet anybody or before you go take something from somebody okay because facebook is so big there are a lot of things that happens over the free girl these are websites when you go there they have the filter and you go to the go through the filter and put in the things that you're looking for if they have them for free they'll pop up when they pop up you just have to uh see if you like it and then you can you can start talking to the owner and then you guys will arrange for a delivery and so on it's similar to what happens on facebook marketplace so frigal is also one place you can go there and uh, we also have uh, freebies these websites they're amazing they bring things like like i said earlier in the uk you can actually get a new thing like a brand new thing that somebody probably got it but didn't use it and to throw it away to be a waste and this person wants to give it out, okay? So you can actually go through these websites and you also get these items for free. Now, the most amazing thing about these websites are some of the people, okay? Uh, they have, uh, let's say they have vehicles. So some people 
will even um, um, offer to bring the things for you in your own house. Sometimes there are people that um, maybe they are moving to a new place, they are moving to a new country, or they 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 don't have space anymore. Okay, and they really want to get space. Such things do make people want to give their items out for free. It's not like the items are bad or they've used it and and they want to throw it away. No, sometimes just they just want to give it out so they can have space for themselves or they just want to give it out because they are moving to another country or they're moving to somewhere else so if you're lucky these people can actually drive the items to your doorstep and give it to you for free all right so these websites i'm gonna list them down in the comments uh section and that of the description box you can you can you can check them out and also say please and please again when you see something there and you want it don't just you know give out information do your due diligence before you start doing anything with anybody on these websites okay but in as much as there are bad things happening on these websites there are also good things you can get from there okay so just yeah just be careful just be vigilant and you will get so many items for free so guys these are the sites that i'm talking about and the major one is the charity shops okay so if these things are something you think they can help you uh you can you can visit every uh charity shop in your area in the uk almost every everywhere there are charity shops and when you go there you will find variety of items like i said don't waste so much if you can use a little uk the economy is a bit tough okay so if you can you can find a way to minimize cost then i'll say just do that so guys it was so beautiful having you on my channel today if this was helpful helpful please consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much